Welcome to the Sage Advice Podcast, transforming the way people think and work so their organizations can thrive. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and today's episode is cut from another podcast of which I am the co-host, The Soul of Enterprise, which is also sponsored by Sage. The Soul of Enterprise is dedicated to belief that business has a spiritual, though not necessarily religious, component. I hope you enjoy this excerpt. If you do, please visit www.thesoulofenterprise.com for more. How did you get Lou Holtz to write your foreword? Yeah, well, uh, so um, I went to the University of Notre Dame. Um, I was a junior his last year. And uh, yeah, and so we um, played Navy in Dublin, Ireland that year. Mm. And so because I was in the marching band, uh, we went all on the same plane, one huge charter flight. It was the, the band or half the band, um, and then the football team and then, uh, super, uh, big donor people. And so we're all flow from O'Hare directly to Dublin. And so then on the way back, I asked coach Holtz if I could get a picture, uh, at the airport. And so he's like, absolutely. And so I have this picture of him, um, and, uh, he and I, and I was able to get it signed before he left uh, campus. And uh, it just meant a a ton to me. So last year I was speaking at a conference in New Orleans for a software company and I was the close of the first day and he was the opening of the second day. And so I showed the client that picture and they said, oh, wow, you have to meet him. And I said, well, that would be awesome. And so then, uh, uh, so there was this, he spoke uh, in the morning and it was really funny because I have a, a part of mine where I talk about my resume and you know, University of Notre Dame is a great top five accounting program every year, but is it significantly better than everyone else's college degree? And well, if you went to Michigan or USC, then hell yeah, it is. Um, But everybody else, you know, whatever. Um, And so this particular software company uh, headquartered in Michigan. (laughs) And so that was hilarious. Then Lou comes out the next morning with, I'm celebrating the 61st anniversary of my 21st birthday. I did simple math so people from Michigan would know how old I am. And I'm like, boom, Boom. Yeah. All right. And so, so then uh, they had this little private meet and greet thing with about 20, 20 of the big, big uh, 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 people that use the software clients. And so then uh, I, um, I just stood in the back and people were asking him questions and kept calling him Lou. And uh, so at the end, uh, you know, he went to pick up his satchel and I said, Hey, coach Holtz. And he attention eyeballs right at me. And I, I showed him the picture. I said, we've actually met before. And uh, he remembered that being in Dublin, Ireland. And I was like, wow, that is amazing. And uh, yeah, he gave me his business card. He said, if you need ever need anything, here's, here's my number. Here's my email, reach out. And so uh, I, I sat on it for like three months because I'm from the Midwest and that's what we do. And then, uh, and then I finally decided to, uh, to email and they got back to me right away. His assistant said he, he would absolutely love to. Uh, send what you got. And then uh, about a week later, got the forward and, and the book was about 95% done then. And that's what made it like, okay, I have to finish this now. <laughs> because I mean, I know Lou's not sitting around waiting for it. But uh, you know, it just really validated it for myself. And uh, it was quite an honor to have one of the greatest football coaches of all time, arguably, um, you know, to, uh, to be to be a part of that. So yeah. yeah. No, wow, that's awesome. When I saw that, it's like, wow, that that gets your attention. <laughs> it's like a legit book, Ron. Right? <laughs> it's like yeah, it's For like sure. put the crayons down. We're gonna re- learn something. <laughs> like it's <laughs> well, we've only got a couple minutes, John, maybe less, but just real fast, and I'm sure Ed will can pick up on this. But you say ignoring your and makes you less successful and less professional and makes your firm less successful. What do you mean yeah. by that? Oh, wow. Yeah. So <laughs> in 60 seconds or less. In 60 um, seconds or less. Yeah. Yes, we got one so, minute. Uh, yeah, basically that your people are made up of other dimensions besides just their work. And so if you ignore what your people love to do outside of work and what their other interests are and the other dimensions to their life, then uh, then you're really ignoring about 85, 90% of who they are as a person. And so there's an untapped well of talent there that you're not getting into because there's expertise there to be had and uh and just care about your people just show genuine interest in all of them not just the little part that shows up at work right and and uh, you know that is a profound idea and, and i love the way you expanded on it in your book
For more Sage advice, visit and subscribe at sageadvicepodcast.com.